Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ant. So today, quite excitingly, we're going to take a quick look at Project Wingman, a brand new combat-based flight simulator, largely in the vein of sort of Ace Combat. The, the reviews I've seen basically sort of said that it's it's a good version of Ace Combat. <laughs> so that's quite exciting, isn't it? I should first of all say a massive thank you to GOG for letting me have a, a key to take a look at the game. So a huge thank you to GOG. Obviously, the game's are available on GOG and other stores are available as well, etc, etc, etc. So, as you can see, even more excitingly, we're playing this in VR. It does support VR. It's not a VR-only game, so you can play this in standard Pancake 2D on your... Not 2D, but on your monitor rather than in a VR headset. Obviously, given half a chance, I'm going to play any flight simulator game or flight game or combat game or cockpit-based game in VR. One thing to know, if you do uh, run it in VR, when I started the game, I am running it from the... Uh, Dog Galaxy 2 client, uh, and then there's an option then you can say to relaunch it in Steam VR. So it's launching through the Galaxy uh, client, launched in Steam VR. The UI was about where the green dot is there, and I couldn't access any of the options to do anything. I had to figure out that the clicking in the right stick is the recenter option. It wasn't until I recentered that I was able to do anything. So if you do launch it in VR, just do bear in mind that may be something you come across as well. So, only two options really, campaign or conquest. So we're gonna hit campaign, aren't we? And hopefully, nothing I really, well, let's have a look at gameplay. Does it have any sort of, uh, yeah, view camera you want cockpit, obviously. Um, no difficulty options there, are there? Obviously I'd wanna put it on to, uh, Easy, <laughs> easy difficulty. So we'll hit new campaign, there we go, easy, yes. Death awaits if you select mercenary, so no thank you. And in fact, you can't even select mercenary, probably until you've completed the game on one of the other ones, I guess, but we're definitely gonna go with easy, cause yeah, that's just the sort of person I am. <laughs> Generations ago, a global cataclysmic event scorched the whole, the world whole, there we go. Newly exposed and volatile material combined with an earth-shattering tectonic collapse, dismantling civilization whole. The whole, the world order was destroyed. History as we know it changed forever. But from the ashes, a new era began. An era of hundreds of years have passed. Humanity is now in the time known as After Calamity. Don't really like that name. Post Calamity. PC? AC 432, January the 9th. 432 years. Uh, we're in a mercenary group. We are Sicario Corp. Squadron number one. Tag name Monarch. So the game did default to being all of the highest graphical settings. I did drop them down to high rather than ultra. Backwater place is just about to come to an end. And, well, thank God. I don't mind a tropical vacation every once in a while, but it's not very glamorous, considering we're here to work. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Thing, move on. The defense minister releases our contract, and we move on to bigger... Whole, I just realized then the whole of the USA is split in half, or North America, I should say, because it did also include northern Mexico there. But yeah, just split in half. We have confirmed the location of the Burlock Privateer headquarters off the coast on the southwestern edge of the Jesta Island chain. They're a mercenary group like us who unfortunately have turned out right. So there are boats, ground targets, and air targets. that they are the culprit of the recent high profile hijacking of the Federation registered cargo ship May Lynx. Damn them. Supposedly carrying volatile cargo belonging to the Federation's Department of Global Energy and Sustainability Office. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing specific from the Federation contact about the cargo. However, our orders are to retrieve it if possible, or to neutralize it if we can't. To negotiate for it have turned up with nothing, so we're going in. Hitman team, you are to approach the mm -hmm, island from mm -hmm. the south along with support and establish control over the area. Yep. Your objective is to eliminate any surrounding anti-air and resistance on the island. Makes sense. After that, secure an LZ for our operator group Ronin to ascertain the cargo. Once Ronin lands, maintain air superiority until the next stage of the operation is determined. Okay. Be aware that the Still going. have other Merc pilots on tap, so enemy reinforcements could be a factor. Probably are going to be then. Normally, we'd stay out of contact with any Federation-adjacent taskings. 
But this is the last thing we need to do for our current contract, so I'll let it slide. Two birds with one stone. Easy enough, right? Sounds simple. Now get to work. Dismissed. So I should say that I'm running this on the Xbox One controller. Uh, it does obviously support a HOTAS setup if you do have that. I do have the HOTAS, as you will know if you watch my... Uh, ooh, all sorts of things. Oh, it's hit start mission. Uh, my flight simulator videos that I did a little while back, which will be coming back when VR is released in December as well. Um, but that's now upstairs and hidden away and the baby's sleeping and... I've got nowhere to store it down here, so for ease... We're just running this on a controller, so we'll see how that goes. What is going on here? Is this supposed to look like this? What's happening? So that was definitely not supposed to happen. I just restarted the game, did all the same things, and rather than that weird orange screen, this loaded up straight away, so there we go. So we have three crafts to choose from. The T21, which is a trainer one, which looks... Well, looks a bit beaten up, really, doesn't it? The TF4, which is also a trainer, which looks a bit more beasty, that's a bit more like it. Or the MG21, which looks very much like the T21. Ah, because the MG is an interceptor look. As opposed to... Oh, we can't even use it, I don't think. We need to purchase it. But we own these two. So we're just trying to compare the two. So the T21 has slightly more acceleration, but the TF4 has more... Uh, roll rate, turn rate. So we'll go with the, the TF4, right? Because, I mean, look at it. It's a beast. And then there's a weapon list that we can't really do much with. So we'll just say return. Is there not like a... Oh, there we go. If you click on it, it does that. Select additional weapon. Multi-purpose, anti-air, anti-ground. I didn't actually... How do I actually select something for that then? Well, I don't know. Maybe we can't put anything in it. It does say it's an empty hard point, so it makes sense we don't have anything yet, doesn't it? Wouldn't it? And I say the only weapons we have there are the ones in the anti-ground one. So if we just go back and take a look at the T21. So that also has anti-ground. A fuel tank fueled, uh, filled with ordnance. Oh, no, not that. Whereas what was that one? Unguided bomb, large explosive radius. Uh, yes, please. So... Can't change anything there. Only got the one color scheme. We'll just hit launch. We'll just hit launch. Commence mission. Go. Let's do this. Oh, that's very pretty. That's very pretty. I'm going to take a little bit of a look at my, uh, my plane. Familiarize yourself with your aircraft and weapon systems. Use the weapon switch keys to cycle between equipped weapons. I'd love to. I don't know what they are. So your triggers are your... Your? <laughs> yeah. The shoulder buttons don't seem to do much at all. I think that's supposed to be the throttle. Yeah, that's, the, that's your throttle, the shoulder buttons. Left stick is up and down. What is fire? Oh, that's like a cannon. Okay. I was destroyed. Did I? Okay, that's a bad start. That's a bad start. <laughs> we were trying to get used to the controls, though, so I'll let myself off. So A is the cannon. X, hold an X, zooms out the radar. 
Our B is our unguided missile. Triangle is nothing. Okay. Any other buttons I need to worry about? Oh, that's just the recenter. Ooh. Oh, is that the left stick? Did that do that? I do wish it used the right stick to do some form of control. That's going to miss by a country mile, isn't it? So we did destroy whatever that was. Okay. Ah, uh, let's go for this rather than the boats. Let's just let our mates deal with the boats. And we'll try and take out this guy. He was further away than I anticipated. We can get very fast if you hold down the uh, throttle button. He is a lot further away than I thought. We are just going to be completely ignoring everything else. Oh, we can just about see him there. Oh, we hit him. I wasn't expecting that. Where did he go? Where did he go? I don't know. Okay, well, let's work on these boats then. I guess we can't hit them because it's not currently. There we go. Still not down. We can work on that. I think that other aircraft is gone. There would, there would definitely be better better control mechanisms, I feel. Right, let's just take a quick look. Novice controls, yes. Ask if the right stick would be your view normally, but we don't obviously need the view, do we? No. Change target. What's change target? Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. That's whatever that does. Ah, why is change target? Oh, and then the D-pad is going to be the weapons. Okay. Uh, I've lost all controls. Okay, so we are back again. So I had to restart the game. I had to restart the game twice because the first time I restarted, I had that annoying orange screen thing on the aircraft selection screen. But we are here now. So I have set it to the novice controls. It seems to do sort of a half your half roll. That's the main difference, it seems to uh, add. So that's two of the ships down. There are no checkpoints. Calculate your every move. Okay, so I do have unguided bombs. You can see the, uh, the targeting reticule down there. I do have a standard missile as well. So we're going to target this little dude over here. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Wasn't expecting that to work. Let's pick this target for us next, so we'll go for that. I am happy with that. The 
and there are a couple more enemy planes over here. The uh, the novice controls definitely do make it a little easier. Not sure it's particularly necessary. Oh, he's being tricky. He's being tricky. We're both trying to lock onto each other. Is that what's happening here? There we go. So those missiles do lock on, which is what we saw before, but we never really had a chance. But I think you need to have them selected as your target. Boom, sunshine, boom, right. Let's go for these over here. And we'll use the uh, unguided bombs for the anti-aircraft emplacements if we can. We'll try and figure out what our actual range is, shouldn't we? It's about 9,000, is that, for the missiles? That uh, sunrise, sunset is beautiful. I find the novice controls a little frustrating, if I'm being honest. Moving on, because he is gone. I say he's gone, I didn't see a hit box come up, hit marker. We didn't even shoot that one. See ya. What are we targeting now? Or the AA, no, I wanted to use my uh, unguided missiles for that. So let's talk to our unguided, unguided bomb, sorry. And then let's take a look at this. Get in this AA. Is that not the right button? Did I fling it? Guns, guns, guns. Oh, I did! <laughs> Sweet. I like the, uh, the sort of marks on the windows that you can see in certain light. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can't see it at all now, it's not got the right, there we go. So the scratch marks on the windows are awesome. I don't know if that's actually, am I hitting the right thing? Oh, I missed, but yes. So there's a little ship down here. And there are two more AA placements over here. That should take care of them. I'd like to... Uh... Yes! <laughs> From due north, I'm facing south. Oh, I see, there are those as well. Oh, I can't believe I hit that. I don't think I destroyed them, but I can't believe I've managed to pull that off. That's the wonderful thing for with VR, to be able to look around as much as you want. There they are. There they are. Should have saved those missiles. That's, uh, that's clear to see. Let's 
It says there's a warning. I don't know what the warning is. Fox two, Fox two. Well, I did select flares. I don't know how I use flares, but I have them. What's this over here? I don't... I'm assuming I didn't get hit by that, but yeah, I don't know what my flare button is. Oh, that'll be the... That'll be that, won't it? That's the flares. So that's pressing in the left stick. Boom, sunshine. Nice. Where is he? Oh, it's that same one that I uh, fired a missile at ages ago, isn't it? Boom. Oh, is my looking at the wrong... The wrong target in reticule, I think I was. Well, that went okay. So the game runs surprisingly well, actually, as well. Some of the, the text has some weird sort of... Um, ...artifacts and weird sort of flickering going on. But the game itself is running really well. So what are we doing? Are we taking this out? Yep. Take it all out. Where are my unguided bombs? Boom! You gone! Oh, hello! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> what have we got left? Is this the actual cargo ship that we're taking out now? Because that seems mean. So we'll blow it up and then we'll drop an unguided bomb on it as well, just to be sure. I just. Not a big fan of that sound, to be honest. Friendly. Okay, Master Goose. Of course it is. They're all Master Goose. Flying formation with a bit. I'd like you one of them. What are HVTs and why are they friendly? Helicopters. So that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. 
two thousand things pay out credits. From this contract and our opportunities in this region have just about dried up. If no one objects, and your contract with Sakari, or seven thousand eight hundred altogether. I looked a little into the Cascadian situation, and I believe we'll make a little something of ourselves there. I believe we will as well. I'm just going to skip a little bit. Skippity, skippity, skip. Thank you for your time. So, just going to skip. Uh, probably should read the mission briefing, should we? It's just going to load the same thing I skipped, isn't it? Isn't it? Or it's going to load nothing at all. And we can't... Can't skip through it fast. So yeah, we'll just skip it completely. Who needs the mission briefing, right? Well, me probably. Start mission. Don't freak out game. Good. Good game. Uh, so we could buy... The MG21 now. Or there is the FE4, which is the advanced version of the one we flew. So how does that compare? So the response rating goes down, but it has more slots, I see. And that only has one slot. But we already flew the uh, the F4, didn't we? So we are going to go with the MG21. Which has left us with no money whatsoever. But that's fine. So we have an MGP. A standard gun pod. Uh, a, two anti-ground and an anti-air. Semi-active air missiles, high tracking capability, unguided bomb, and unguided rockets. Perfect. And then we have our flares as well. Also perfect. And only the one color scheme still, but that's fine. We can live with how the plane looks because we don't have to look at it. Oh, that's fancy, isn't it? Oh, hello. Oh, that looks nice. It's better to look at this one. So we've got our active air missiles, standard missiles. So where's our unguided bombs and stuff? Don't know. Okay. Did I just get clipped by someone? Chill out, mates. The, uh, the cloud kind of disappears a little bit, depending on which eye's looking at it, which is a bit weird. Let's try and gain a bit of height. What is it? Oh, it's behind us. Okay, about face, people. Let's do this. Did I fire? Yes, I did. Oh my word. Aircraft damaged already. Okay. Who needs an aircraft? Come on now. Oof. I only just remembered I had flares then I noticed that I had the uh, missile warning coming up. 
Boom, sunshine, you down. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. Where are all the friendlies that we are supposed to assume be defending? No idea. Where's my, uh... Oh, this one doesn't have a... Oh, it's down there. I see it. So we have to do that. I see. So I'm assuming we're heading towards these things because they're the only things on the radar. Because there's enemies. Yes, there we go. Now, do we have... I don't think we have unlimited ammo, do we? Does that mean I'm out of... I believe I am now out of missiles, the air... air... Anti-air missiles. That's what I was looking for. Oh, no, there's one. Maybe they sort of regenerate a little bit. I can't see... That in the bottom right, I guess, isn't it? Let's target someone and then keep an eye on what's going on there. Yes. So I guess we have a maximum of two. We've just used one, so we are now at zero. And then that six goes down as well. So is that like it gets reloaded? That's in this direction somewhere. Who's taking losses? Us? Or the ones we abandoned ages ago? I was talking about me. That's the enemy talking. Yes, come on, mates. We can do this. Oh, wow. They just got smashed by that plane. Just like mid-air collision, but he just flew through me. All right. Oh, there's no checkpoints, is there? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We can do this. Apart from the fact you can't skip the... Uh, the talking bits, which is a wee bit annoying. But I can see where the enemy are, so I can just waste a missile immediately. <laughs> we are engaging. Going a little bit fast, possibly, to try and pick him out of the air. Oh, no, nope, not at all. Take it back. Oh, 
one of my missiles missed. That's a shame. Thank you. Miles away, miles away. It's definitely a little generous with the... Uh, with the hitboxes. Hello. Lovely, lovely stuff. Oh, boom. Down and out, mate. Down and out. Where's this other guy? Boom, sunshine. We did not take him out. Where is he? There are so many of them. Were there this many last time? I guess there must have been. Trying to save my missiles a little bit. There we go. Well, there's more. Have we just caught up with the other ones already? Is that what's going on? Gonna get that fixed, mate. So that's all of the nearby ones. So there. So now this is the uh, ones we had trouble with before, isn't it? Right. Full speed ahead. Slight angle up to get the. Uh, what's that over there? What is that? That white dot? Speeding right up, if we can, please. Oh, there we are. Miles above them. Okay. Oh, that one missed. That's okay. I want to go for this thing again, though, but I'm not going to plow through it. That's the plan this time. I don't think those missiles are guided. Did I do the same? You are kidding me. Okay, so I skipped you forward to the same bit again, so we're once again going to take on the big guy and his little compatriots. And hopefully this time, not doing anything too silly is the plan. We are so high. How did we get all the way up there? So we're going to focus on the fighters this time and then we'll work our way down to the, uh, the little guys. Boom, sunshine, boom. So I'm using the standard missiles a bit more, which are still... Still guided missiles. But they don't always kill them in one hit. You sometimes need to see he just used flare, so that'll probably miss. Oh no, I still got him. Your flares are useless against me. It does seem weird to see the enemies uh, comms chatter. Whatever 
I haven't really talked much about the sort of actual VR side of it, but it's sort of obvious and it's the one thing that people will talk about a lot with VR flight games, but the ability just to look around the cockpit like that, find your target, and then move your plane towards him, it just makes all the difference. There we go, finally. Finally got rid of you, mate. So he's got a lock on me, one of these. Who's it? Oh, that guy. So far, a couple of missiles off. Hopefully at least one of them will hit him. Boom. There you go. That's how you do it. So they just taken out our our buddies, is that what you just said? I don't know, just about got those flares off in time there. So it hit, but it didn't take him out. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's so close. He's being tricky. He's being tricky. So I slowed right down to try and get a bit more of a... A bit more of a bead on him. Oh, I don't think I can avoid that. Just evasive maneuvers worked there. Okay. So I think I already used up my... Uh, flare allocation for the moment. Yeah, these are definitely slightly harder, aren't they? And then slow right down. Boom! Don't like you. Don't like you, HR, HVTs. Oh! Slow down too much. Slow down too much. Oh, I actually took a bit of damage there. Someone. Yeah, I think if I was going to carry on playing, I'd definitely change back to the normal controls. There are just a few sort of uh, odd little quirks where it tries to change your orientation and stuff that I don't really appreciate. What is... What is that? What am I looking at here? Oh, too slow, too slow. Swapping between my missiles here to do a bit of damage. I wouldn't mind actually uh, getting a bit of a better view of this guy. Look at him! He is a proper beast. What is going on there? Okay, well, let's uh, slow down a little bit. Get our lock back on. I 
think the uh, I think the system we're trying to hit is not not visible from there. Is there something else? Oh, there's some other enemy around that I'm not I'm not aware of. Where are these missile locks coming from all the time? So let's get ourselves a different view on this guy. See if this is any different. Nope. Must be on top then, right? Yes, there we go. I like the little mini boss thrown in there, that's quite cool. I like that, I like that a lot. Ah, more of those guys again. Supposed to actually be following because I was just going to try and make my aircraft stall. <laughs> oh, we are landing. Make sure your airspeed is just slightly above stall speed. Brake once you have touched the ground. I don't know what brake is. Come to a complete stop. Complete landing. Come to a complete stop to complete landing sequence. Two completes confuse me. You can always skip takeoff and landing sequences in the pause menu. I'd rather not. What is our stall speed? 140, 30. Well, it's around there, isn't it, then? So let's see if we can... I, I assume we don't have to put the gears down or anything, right? I'm assuming that that's done for us. So it's coming nice and low. I can't shoot the trees. <laughs> which is obviously something I attempted to do. Slow right down. And then we'll straighten ourselves up. Skim in the treetops. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, oh. Bit lower, bit lower, bit lower, bit lower, bit lower. Lovely. I'm assuming decreased throttle is brake. Beautiful. Look at that. Much easier than landing in flight simulator. <laughs> we only lost one plane during that. Oh no, we didn't. With our contact and refuel Two things during that. You'll be heading back out within the hour, so stay on your toes, or else your time in Cascadia will be short. -lived. Not much chance to uh, recuperate, is there? So I'm going to leave that there. I just want to start the next mission to see if we can do a takeoff. I'd like to see a takeoff. Not that I think it'll be completely revolutionary or anything, but I'd like to see it. So does this act like a little base? Like, do we have like a little, a little hub going forward for the game? Don't do the weird orangey thing. Don't do it, game. Don't do it. Good game. So we've unlocked a couple of other planes. The SV-37 is one we had a few issues with, which is 10,200 credits. Oh no, it's 4,300 credits. It's nothing. And then that one is the one we already had. Um, well, it was already available to us, but we hadn't unlocked previously. So what does the... Ah, the SV-37 is very strictly anti-air. Look, anti-air, 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 anti-air. Whereas that one is a bit more of a mix and match, mix and match multi-purpose. And ours is, yeah, sort of a, a, a round and round. Well, we'll pick up the SV-37, I think. Just to see what it looks like. No, don't do that. So I haven't quite figured out, do you select different things here, or is it just... That's what you've got. Is it just showing you what you have available? And if you have more than one thing in multiple slots, do you just hit the same button on the D-pad? 
I'll select an SP weapon. And then select the anti-air weapon. Oh, I see. Multi-lock target capability. Ooh. Well, we're not really going to see much, so let's just uh, pick whatever and move on, shall we? Oh, it is a takeoff. Well, that cockpit's a little bit messed up, isn't it? My legs are through the cockpit dashboard. Dashboard. That can't be right. That can't be right. What does it look like? Well, so we're sort of sat above the wing rather than below. Is that like a dual wing thing going on? That's kind of cool. Did it give us takeoff instructions? I wasn't looking. I assume we just hold down throttle until we take off, right? Which our little uh, relative velocity indicator will help us with, I'm sure. So now going fast enough not be pulled down by gravity. So we're probably going fast enough to take off now. I just want to make full use of the runway. Why not? Ooh! <laughs> that couldn't have been much closer, could it? Or was that it? I just wanted us to take off. Did I already fail? Did I fail by taking damage? No, I just wanted us to... Uh... Ooh! Where's the... Where's the sun? So what's this red stuff about? Is that the sun? Now the sun's over there somewhere. I think it is supposed to be the sun. Uh, so we are taking on uh, ships by the look of it, so we sh definitely should have taken on our... ...anti-ship missiles. But I'm just going to try to see if I can use the... ...multi-lock missiles. See what they're like. Are we not attacking these? Well, I fired them. Maybe not as easy as I thought. Whereas the old standard missiles. Oh, don't lock onto boats. Maybe that's the problem. Cool, anyway, I'm going to leave that there then. So that game is a lot of fun. Particularly if there's a way of skipping some of the, the talking parts. Are they definitely boats? Is that ice or is that water? Just for when I do inevitably fail miserably. That would be quite nice. But otherwise, yeah, that is a lot of fun. Ooh, we've got multiple planes. <gasps> Ooh, see it in action. So I missed one, but yeah, that's cool. I like that. Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed that half as much as I did. If you did, do hit the like button. Always appreciated. Comment, subscribe, all those good things. I will see you next time in some other magical VR adventure. If you did really enjoy that, by the way, do let me know if you'd like to see the full campaign. I'm intending to make it just a quick look, but if you'd like to see more, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.